Hello, I'm Vadim, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the CSP package. Let's get started. We're going to be going over a few methods of downloading CSP and installing it. So the first thing you want to do is go to nagios.org. And in here we find Nagios Core Service Platform or Nagios CSP. We also find a promo code of CSP50, and this is a free key for life. So we're going to be downloading the zip file for the OVA for Windows, as well as setting it up for Linux. So what we want to do now is click download, and we want to download the zip onto our Windows machine. While that is downloading, we're going to go into Linux. I have a CentOS 9 stream box ready to go, so we're going to log in. The first thing we want to do is install wget, so for CentOS 9, it's going to be yum install wget. And when it asks to install, press Y and hit enter. So now that we have wget, we want to clear this out. And the first command that we want to enter is going to be wget https assets.nagios.com forward slash downloads csp and csp dash latest dot you could also download the zip from here otherwise in my example we're going to download the iso and click enter now we'll wait for it to download Now that it's done downloading, what we want to do next is create a directory. We're going to make a directory in Mount ISO. Click Enter. We'll clear all this out. And now we want to type in the command sudo. And we want to mount dash o loop. And we want to enter in the file that we just downloaded, which is CSP latest. Then we tell it where to mount, so that directory that we just made. Hit enter. Once that is mounted, we want to change directories to the mount ISO that we created here. And in here, we can see that we have a CSP OVA. We have a PDF for installation guide. We have some parts. We have a README, S license, and we have an XI 2024 installation in here. We're going to be installing XI today. So we're going to copy this XI 2024 into our temporary directory. So we will enter in this command. And we'll put it into a temp folder. Once we have that, we're going to change directories to the TMP. And in here, we can find that we have XI2024 in there. So now what we want to do is enter in this command to extract the tar. And once we do that, we want to change directories into Nagios XI. And then we'll type in dot forward slash full install. And with this command, it'll fully install Nagios XI. Right here, we find a full installer. We'll click Y. And for the MySQL password, you could set a custom password here and then press Enter. Otherwise, just keep pressing Enter to get a default password. I'll be pressing Enter on all of these MySQL passwords and it'll start installing. After it is done installing, we have an IP address that we can navigate to. So we'll type in that IP address. And here we're greeted with a welcome page. We click Access Nagios XI. Then you could change your program URL, time zone, language, or user interface theme. And down below, you have general system settings. For the license type, we want to click Licensed. 
And then going back to Nagio CSP, we have the CSP50 as a promo code. We'll enter this code into license key and click next. Now you have a username and password. For my example, I'll type in password welcome. For obvious reasons, you wanna create a more secure password in your environment. And then we can move on to changing the full name and email address. After that is done, click finish install. After the installation is finished, you're greeted with your username and password and a link to log in. So now what you wanna do is log in with the credentials that you just made and click log in. Then you wanna read through the license agreement. Then click this checkbox that you have read and understood the agreement and click submit. And now you're into Nagios XI. The second installation method we're gonna use is going to be through Windows. So what we wanna do is go into File Explorer, find where we downloaded that CSP latest file right here, and we will extract it all in the Downloads folder. After it is extracted, you'll find CSP ISO. You'll find a few folders and a few text documents helping you set up CSP. You have parts in here. You have all these plugins and NCPA. You also have a targz file in here. What we're gonna do next is grab this CSP OVA and use it to install XI. So we're gonna go back to VMware Workstation or any kind of virtualization software that you have. We will click File and then click Open. Then we wanna find that OVA that we just downloaded. We can find that CSP 1.0.OVA and click Open. Now we want to name this virtual machine, so I'm going to name it CSP Test XI. And we will leave it in the default location. Now we want to click Import. After it is done importing, I'd like to double check the hardware configuration. We have 2 gigabytes of memory and 2 cores, which is fine for our environment. It's going to take up 40 gigs. And for the network adapter, we want to make sure it's bridged for our network, otherwise use NAT. So I will leave the default configurations here and click power on. Once it is done installing, we have an IP address that we can view the interface. So we'll go to that new interface. Here we're greeted with another welcome page. Click access Nagios XI. Then we are met with the same general settings and general system settings. We wanna click licensed, then enter in the same CSP50 license that we already had, and then click next. In this example, we're gonna be creating welcome as a password. As stated previously, create a more secure password than welcome. Then enter in a full name, email address, and click Finish Install. After it has installed, click Login. Enter in the username and password that you have just created. Then read through the terms and conditions, check the box, and click Submit. And now we're into Nagios XI. And that is how you use CSP to install everything that you need to start monitoring. Thanks for watching. Check out our YouTube channel for more helpful content. I'll see you in the next one.